got a concert and he's doing that. Really? And oh, I yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Right? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. He got the crowd was a lot more enthusiastic though than you guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I have memes that like remind me of you, so I memes that like each other. We'll have a meme party later. Um, all right. Ready? Still waiting for some people to turn around, so therefore they can learn, especially if they missed half the class. There we go. All right, um, the first thing we'll want to do, guys, is, oh I'm asking just to turn around the right no, now. Well, you can move, there's empty seats right there. It'd probably be a better idea anyways. So, let's go ahead and draw the information that we're given. Now, again, as I mentioned to you guys, typically, I just label this as it is here. Okay, however, now, if I want to determine one, two, or no triangles, first of all, um, if I wanted to use this H theorem as far as identifying the height, well then, I kind of have an issue here. Because do I have enough information to, to actually find the H, find the height? Yes. Not the way it's labeled, though. Well, can't A, B, and C be labeled by reason? Yes, so that's what I'm saying. Rather than doing this as C, I want this to be angle side side, right? Yeah. If I'm going to do what I just taught, I want this to be angle side side. So rather than making C right here, I'm going to just put that as B. So I'm going to make this B and this B. Because again, guys, it doesn't matter. So therefore, this is C and C. You can read like it. You don't always have to lay, like it doesn't matter. You could do C B A C A B. Like it doesn't matter how you label your triangle. When I'm doing this technique, though, I like it to be angle side side looking like this. So now I recognize this. I need to figure out what my h is. My h is going to be, remember my h is, um, in this case, it's going to be 7 times the sine of 36 degrees. Again, don't get hooked on, oh, it has to be c. No, it's that opposite over hypotenuse, right? Go off of the triangle. Don't get focused on what these variables are that I've been using, because the variables are interchangeable. That's a big mistake students make. They get stuck on the variables, and they don't look at the triangle. H is 7 times sine of 36. So then we take our calculator, and we compute 7 times sine of 36. Does anybody have my calculator? I guess nobody's computing. what you get? I got well rounded to the Near 4.11. What is it? What's the third one though? Just to, for four. Okay. Um, now again, so now looking at our case is now if our height, if our opposite side here is less than that, which it is, then what do we have? No triangle. No triangle. Yeah, but the triangle doesn't make any sense because if the height is four, listen, listen. Look at though, this triangle doesn't make sense. If the height is 4, right? If we're going to say this is 4.114, if this is 2, then that means it has to be half that length, which would only actually look like that. And does that make sense how you can't create a triangle there? Right? So yes, we are, when we're creating these, I am creating the uh, triangle off the assumption that it's a triangle, but based on these measurements, it definitely could not be a triangle. OK? Are we ever going to be doing things like that and then find out what Yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing these. <laughs> 